Hey guys, this is Trent once again in the brand new year of 2009. After being a part of the PC commercial, I came across a little bit of success financially. I ended up finding myself in a position where I had to sit down and decide how I was going to spend this money, or if I should spend it at all. I basically narrowed my decision down to two different devices, a camcorder and the iPod Touch 32 gig second generation. Because one day I could see myself putting together some sort of television show demo where I would basically use a camcorder to shoot myself doing exactly what I'm doing now and um, burn it to a DVD and then eventually send it out to different um, casting agents. But since I'm in the middle of school right now, my schedule basically has only but so many openings to where I can go fly out for auditions or whatever if I had the chance to. So um, I decided that a camcorder may not be the best thing, especially being that I wouldn't get as much usage out of it as I would the iPod Touch 32 gig. So I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys right now. The Apple iPod Touch 32 gig. I'm going to take this plastic off from the top layer here. And I believe it's going to open up like so. Hmm. And <laughs> it is now trapped inside of a plastic brace that I'm going to have to try and pry it out of. Oh, crap. I don't want to break anything, so. Oh, we got it. This is, of course, uh, in a plastic overlay on the display. Now that we have freed it from the plastic, this is the brand new iPod Touch 32 gig second generation model. Feels very sleek. One thing I'm noticing right off the bat is that it's got volume rocker keys on the side here. I assume that's a power button. I believe that's the antenna for the Wi-Fi. Got your headphone port here as well as the dock connector. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys the innards of the iPod Touch box. We've got what appears to be your typical manual. Um, some marketing information, warranty information, as well as the ubiquitous Apple stickers. Some sort of a wipe for the screen of the iPod Touch that's wrapped up in plastic. And it appears that's what it is. There you go. And we've also got a universal adapter. USB cord for connecting the iPod Touch. Earbuds that I will not be using because I do not rely on these at all for my music listening. So these will stay in the um, these will stay in the case. Now, since the iPod Touch second generation has the transmitter for the Nike Sport built into it, I can use it for my five mile runs whenever I leave my house. That was the reason as to why I chose this particular case made by Belkin. This is called the Grip Tight Groove and it's a silicone sleeve. Just to play it safe I'm going to take my iPod Touch which has a pristine back with no scratching and no smudging and I'm going to insert it into the case here. I believe it's just a simple matter of sliding it in place like so. As you can see, I'm going to get it in there, around the sides, over the top. Come on, you can stretch around that corner. Got it. All right, this is my iPod Touch inside the new Belkin Grip Tight Groove. 
Now I can say that so far the fit around the iPod Touch is very impressive. You can see the Belkin logo down here toward the bottom. It has an opening for the dock connector as well as the headphone port. You have buttons that are made into the rubber for the volume rocker keys as well as the power button here at the top so that is not a problem. Of course, there isn't any protection for the screen, but I'm not too worried about that at this point. Um, later on, if I choose to, I may get a screen protector, but we'll just have to wait and see. The main thing for right now is all about protecting the back of this iPod Touch, because my first generation model, which was also a 32 gig, ended up being scratched up like... <laughs> after so many months of holding the old generation in my pocket the back ended up looking like crap I mean it was just very scratched up to the point where you could hardly see the Apple logo now one more thing that I purchased at the Apple store was a Nike sport kit sensor now the, the sensor that is currently in my Nike plus sneakers in my back room um, it ran out of batteries it was only a matter of getting a separate sensor which is currently being sold at either the Nike website or the Apple store for 20 bucks. Well it appears that I've got it open the hard way and I'm going to show you guys what's inside the box. We got the Nike Sport and Sensor manual, warranty information, and we have an envelope with the sensor located inside. I've got the pack open. Boom! We've got the new Nike sensor that will soon go into the Nike Plus sneakers that are in my bedroom. I do understand that I'm not going to be listening to my entire library while I'm running, but at the same time, it's good to have that versatility to be able to choose whatever song you want. It's good to be able to choose from my entire library instead of choosing from a limited amount of my library with the 2 gig nano that I currently have in the bedroom right now. So this is truly amazing. I'm not going to cut it on yet. I'm going to go ahead and just wait until I hook it up to my computer and have everything load up on it. With the money that I got from the PC commercial, I used a portion of it to get myself the iPod Touch 2nd Generation 32 gig, along with a case made by Belkin called the, um, the Grip Tight Groove, as well as a Nike Sport Sensor to replace the dead one that I currently have. Yeah. And then on that note, I'm going to bid you guys adieu. Um, hope, wish you all of you a happy 2009 and a prosperous one as well. And I look forward to making another video in the near future. Take care and stay safe.